Hi everyone, good afternoon. This is Pastor Joey Hortaleza from Conquest Church. Welcome home. Welcome to this afternoon Sunday service. Here in this place, this is not another religion for you to join. But in this place, in this online place where where actually um our our tagline here is love God and have these people and win their walls and disciple them. Okay, so this is Conquest Church. Our mission is to bring people to God to help them become true disciples of Jesus Christ, right? I'm here, Joey Hortaleza, and my uh, co-pastor here is Jay Andian, my wife. So welcome home. Lalo sa mga first-timers, welcome. Thank you for taking this time of our Sunday for 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 your afternoon time. Okay, so we we are right now in a new series. Ang tawag na series natin is Cafe Plum, right? Cafe Plum or Cafe Plum, okay? This is a brand new series that we are launching today. In the past, no, I think four months yata time and uh, money matters. So, and dami na rin yung about finances. But today, okay, bagong topic to, bagong form collection series. All right, so welcome to Cafe Lang series. All right, so here today, we're going to be talking about the part one, breaking barriers. No, breaking barriers talagang ano natin, break natin yung mga barriers na yun, ano ba yung mga barriers na meron ka sa buhay. Alright? May mga challenges na ba? Okay, lalo ko bang um, nagdadaanan, kung baga, no? Malaking problema. Right? So, let's talk about it. But, uh, before we totally start, pinanamin tayo. No? Thank you, Lord, for this Sunday that you have given us that you have prepared for us, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that the whole Spirit will override our preparation in this topic. May you minister to your fears. May you minister, Lord God, to each and every one of us. Change our hearts and mindset, Lord God, towards challenges, towards problems, towards things, Lord God, that we need to overcome in order, Lord, to fulfill our mission here on earth. In order, Lord God, to glorify you and me. Thank you, Lord God, in your holy presence, in Jesus, my name we pray. Amen. And amen. All right, let's start, no? So, may tanong muna tayo before we totally start, no? Are you overwhelmed with big challenges? Is there a point when you really wanted to give up? Well, I think every one of us, tumating tayo doon sa point na gusto natin sumuko in eh, isang bagay. So, ano yung mga pagsuko niya? Depende. Okay? Pwede sa force mo, Hello, so may mag-aaral, no? pwede sa thesis mo, <laughs> okay, sa OJT, saan pa ba, sa bago mong trabaho, na pinapangarap ko mga pasok doon, ganda na lang mga pasok ka. Grabe, parang ayo, ayo ko pala dito, parang ganyan, ang hirap pala dito, no? Okay, or uh, negosyo na sinimulan, tapos hindi mo na matumitin, hindi mo na ituloy kasi parang, alam mo yun, ang hirap, right? So, depende, no? Marami sa atin uh, na mga tao sa mundo, hopefully, um, hindi sa ilitaw po, no? kung ano, kung broken family na nangyari sa'yo, kung malapang, kung merong mag-partner, no? mag-asawa, no? Nag- nagkasal sila, or maybe um, nagkaroon sila ng anak ng, ng, ng bagong anak, no? and then nung nag-awal sila, no? nag-iwalay na lang, may mga ganang bata, no? hindi na kaya. Pero we are here to discuss today. Paano mo makakayanan yung mga big obstacles na yan? No? Are you excited? Are you ready? Right? Tell me when you are ready. No? And then, pag-usapan natin ito, no? uh, nasabi mo na ba ito sa buhay mo? Once in your life, nabanggit mo na ba yan? Or madalas mo nabanggit na yan? Ang hirap. Parang ito si Lili. Huwag na lang kaya. Di ba? Kaya kapag ka nangarap tayo, no? Um, ano lang, na nag-aaral pa tayo, hindi pa tayo nakapagtrabaho at nakapag-negosyo. Hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung meron sa buhay talaga, especially financially, okay, or maybe uh, the, the, the holistic oh, the holistic um, view of life na wala pa tayo. Kala natin pag-aaralit natin, yun na yun, nagawa na tayo ng mga dreams natin. So hindi pala, no? Yung mga dreams tayo, nung grumadi tayo, ang dami-dami nun eh. Right? May dream house tayo, meron tayong dream car, and then meron tayong um, ang dami, no? Sa family, mga goals natin, masarili natin, no? Tapos nung nagtrabaho ka na, 
hindi pala biro. Pero nag-negosyo ka na, hindi pala biro. Nung binibilbar, hindi pala biro. Nung excited magkapamilya, nung nagkapamilya, ano? Naisip, hindi pala biro yung pagpapamilya. So, huwag na lang kaya. Yung mga ganyan, no? Maliligaw ka sana. Meron kang gustong ligawan. Tapos makita mo, may nililigaw sa kanya. May kotse, guwapo, right? Si macho. Tapos kaya mo sarili mo. Huwag na lang kaya. <laughs> okay. So, yung mga ganyan, yung mga ganyan, eh, pag-usapan natin ito, no? Itutuloy ko pa ba ito? Kung sinimulan mo na isang bagay, ito naman yung tanong. Yung sa kanina, yung tanong kanina, is parang ayaw mo nang simulan. Ayun ko naman, sinimulan mo, no? Itutuloy ko pa ba ito? Wala naman ang mayayari. No? Hindi yata para sa akin ito. Okay, kung naliligaw ka sa isang babae, itutuloy ko pa kaya. No? Ang tanong ko na naliligaw sa kanya, 39 years. <laughs> 39 years ka na naliligaw. Wala naman ang nangyayari, wala naman progress. Nagalingan ako pang bagay sa course na ito. Patapusin ko ba itong thesis na ito, yung OJP na ito, yung bagong trabaho na ito, ito tuloy ko pa ba, mag-resign na ako, lipat na ako sa iba. Ito yung negosyo na ito, susukuan ko na ng bato kasi parang hindi ko naman kaya, hindi alam para sa akin itong negosyo na ito. So, yung mga ganyan yung bagay na, kung anong area man ang buha, kung naitanong mo na ito, kaya para sa iyo yung topic na ito. Okay? So let's be jumping in the verse. Basahin natin yung Exodus chapter 14 starting in verse 1 to 4. Sabi dito, Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to turn back and encamp near e between Migdol and the sea. They are to encamp by the sea directly opposite Baal Zephon. Verse 3, Pharaoh will think the Israelites are wandering around the land in confusion and in by the desert, verse 4, I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he will pursue them, but I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh and all his army. And the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites did this. Okay, my instruction of Panginoon. But before we go there, no, the background nito is si Moses, no, yung Prince of Egypt, diba? na pag aralan natin mga nakaraan, no pinanganak ko sa Egypt, and then napapatay lahat. Tapos yung nanay niya, pinaanong siya sa Nile River, yung sa Nile River, tinuha siya ng um, anak ng hero, inampun sa 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 pyramid, di ba? And then after that, lumaki siya, makita niya yung, yung kanyang mga uh, Kosraelites, yung mga kanyang kanyang kalahe, no? Kaya pinagmaman na dito ng mga Egypto, ng mga Egyptians. So pinatay niya yung Egyptian na nagpamalapit mo sa isang Israelite, nililibong niya sa buhangin, may nakakita, matapot siya, pabalik siya sa Palancho, sa Tiermin, pumunta siya, pumunta siya doon, no? and then pumunta siya, nagpastol na lang, nagsawa, pumanda, kinawin ni Lord sa Burning Bush, kinausap siya doon, and then uh, pinuntahan niya yung Pharaoh, and then nagsunod ng seven plagues, no? And then, ayaw pa, wala silang fear ko yun, may pinapunan ko lang sila at last. Okay, ito yung background ko before this passage. Okay, so pinabayaan na sila. Okay, sige, alis na kayo dito sa ating fear ko. So, ito yung nagnara sa kanila, no? Pinagkakam sila ni Lord sa isang side. Okay? So, let's jump in verse 10. Sabi dito, as fear of the Israelites, you know, um, and there were the Egyptians marching after them, they looked up na Nakita ng mga Israelite, oh no, yung mga Egyptians, pagparating na, no? They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. Natakot, right? Verse 11, they said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us for bringing us out of Egypt? Verse 12, didn't we say to you, in Egypt leave us alone? Let us serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than die or than to die in the desert. So, ito, sinisi nung siya si Moses dito. Okay, sinisi siya nila si Moses. Or alam niyo mga kapatid, before we go on, the Israelites have been enslaved in Egypt for around 400 
30 years. Ang tagal na slavery. No? In Egypt kasi it signifies um, the area of our own life, our sinful life. Yung sinisignify ng Egypt. No, they still love the old them as a slave. Pero ang Panginoon, Jesus nila pakawalan sa atin. No? Jesus nila pakawalan ng Panginoon sa slavery natin, sa old life of sin. But most of our mindset natin, no? gusto natin balik na yung sinful life. You know what? Let's go on. No? Verse 13, Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm. And you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you. Egyptians, you see today, you will never see again. Wow. What a faith. Verse 14, the Lord will fight for you. You only, you need me to be still. Nasa nasabi ni Moses dito is hindi tayo pinakawalan ng Lord na mula siyang plano sa atin. No? Hindi tayo sinagip ng Panginoon na mula siyang plano sa atin. May plano ang Diyos. Manood tayo. Alright? Tingnan natin. Basta maging people tayo sa Panginoon. Okay? So, in verse 15, no? then the Lord said to Moses, siyempre si Moses, as a father, no? pinunsok po si Lord, no? Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites, tell the Israelites to move on. Okay. Hindi makamove on sa ilan sa old life. Namimiss nila yung old life. Nakatakot sila sa new life. Ang dami na magwela ang gawin. Hindi namin magawa yung gusto namin. Right? Ang gusto namin, hindi na mag-serve na ng pamilya. Baka mamatay kami dito. No? Ano yung mindset na mga stress before? Mas gusto na nilang mamatay at pinapahirapan sila, na inaalitin sila kaysa mga kasama ng Panginoon Diyos. At i-exercise yung feet mo. So sabi dito, move on. So move on, move, move on, move on din. Huwag laging ano, looking back. No? Verse 16, you raise your staff and stretch, stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that these legs can go through the sea on the dry ground. Wow. Yan po siya na silang Diyos, no? Si Moses dito, no, kaya sabihan ng Panginoon. Alam niyo, may leader. Hindi mo alam yung trabaho niya, ano? Madalas sa kanya napupunta yung mga bilin ng Panginoon para ipagawa yung sa mga taong nililin niya. May pinaranas ni Moses dito. Okay? Verse 19. Then the angel of God who had been traveling in front of Israel, Israel's army withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of cloud also moved from in front and stood behind them. So before, Nung pinakawala sila ng nung pino, nung in Egypt, kasama na nila pala, hindi pala, yung angel of God, hindi pala sila pinapabayaan ng Lord. Ikaw, right now, hindi ka pinapabayaan ng Lord. Okay, kasama, kasama ko si Lord. Hindi mo na napapansin. Binigyan ka ng Lord, ng angel, ng asay, para protect ka. Okay? Sabi dito yung pillar of cloud, no? Nagalakas sila sa desert, may payong dito eh. Cloud. Wow. No? And then kapag gabi naman, meron silang flashlight. No? Meron fire sa harap nila para narito nila nadaanan. No? Grabe, napaka-spoiled naman ng mga certain lights. No? Grabe yung pagmamahal ng lobby. Hindi lang sila pinakawalan, pinong-fold pa. Hindi bigay pa ng kailangan. No? So, ngayon ito, dahil tatawid nga sila dito sa dagat, yung mga yung anghel na nasa unahan at yung pillar of cloud, pumunta sa likod para pagkakaroon pa sila. Habang tumatawin. Wow. Verse 20. Coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel, throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to the, to the one side and the light to the other side. So neither went near the other all night long. So walang nakalapit na, na Egyptian says. Verse 21. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and all the night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The water is really violent. Grabe, nahati yung, anong ano, yung sea. Okay? Nahati yung red sea. Imagine, dry ground. Saan ang gala yan? Dry ground. No? How is that happening? That inside a sea, there is dry ground. Only miracles. No? The power of God. 
So, sino nang may Moses yung Moses? Yes, at may Hanya. Okay. Na-divide yung yung uh, dagat, no? Verse 20. And the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, you know, ito, with a wall of water on their right, on their left. Imagine, parang mayroon sobrang laki aquarium sa left and right. Ano kayo ano, 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 nakikita mo doon? Baka nakikita mo yung mga waves, no? Nakikita mo yung mga sharks, mga corals, no? Parang, ano, ano, parang, have you ever um, went into an ocean park an ocean park. Pagpas mo yung mga no, yung mga sea animals no, na nasa paligid mo yun, using a glass na matibay na may kita mo. No. Parang ganyan, ano? My goodness. Okay? Pinag-tour pa sila yun. Parang wala sa battle na parang travel. Eh. Right? Next is this, no? The Egyptians pursued them and all fierce horses and chariots and horsemen follow them into the sea. You know what? Yung, yung, yung pinaatak ng period dito, not just, hindi ko kundi. Kaya na-terrify yung mga Israelites. So, ang dami na ito, 600 chariots. Wala pa yung horsemen. Anong hindi ng 600 chariots today? It means 600 na tanks. 600 na tanki. Imagine mo, hindi ko ba nang matakot dyan? Tanki pa lang, 600 na. Wala pa yung soldiers talaga. No? My goodness. Right? And then verse 24, no? During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the Egyptian's arm and threw it into confusion. Si Lord pala. Binabantayan tayo talaga. No? The Lord looked down. Okay? Tignan niya. No? May problema ng struggles. Okay, verse 25. He jammed the wheels of their chariots so that they had difficulty driving. Then the Egyptians said, let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. So na-realize, may itong mga Egyptians na ito na, ah, wala. Hindi naman na natin dito. The Lord is fighting for them. The Lord is fighting for them. Now they realize. Okay? Now they realize. Sino yung kakampi ng Israelites? Imagine all of us. Kakampi natin sila sa mga challenges natin. Okay? Next is this. No? The Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptian and their chariots and horsemen. Nung pabalik tayo yung mga Egyptians, retreat! Balik na tayo. Hindi na tayo yung mga nalo dito. Si Lord yung kalaban natin ng Israelites. Balik na tayo. Habang pabalik sila. Okay. Sinarado naman nila ngayon yung dagat. No? Verse 27. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at daybreak, the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing toward it and the Lord swept them into the sea. Verse 28. The water flowed back and over the chariots and horsemen. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea. No one of them survive. Amen and amen. Okay? Lahat ng mga challenges mo right now, lahat ng mga problems mo right now, I declare in Jesus' name, not one of them will survive. Amen. amen. Wala magsusurvive sa problems mo. Okay? Wala magsusurvive sa mga challenges mo. Okay? okay? The Lord will fight for you. In verse 29, the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground. In no way, third time. Right? Third time. Please, kung kasi yun, sa atin ako, even ako, yung isip ko, no, pag hindi natin yung bagay, especially yung, pag hindi natin yung mga, miracle na yun, eh, no, na lahat yung siya. Pero miracle din yun, dry ground. How is it possible na dry? Right? Dapat dun, magbasa, right? Pero dry ground daw. Ang galing talaga ng Lord, mahal na mahal niya tayo. No? Mahal na mahal niya yung Israelites. With, oh, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. No, ulit na naman. Verse 30, that, that day, the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians. That day, the Lord saved Joey from the hands of his problems. Declare that for yourself as well. And Israel saw the Egyptians lying then on the shore. Right? 
and you saw or, or you see your problems die behind the floor. Amen. And amen. Verse 31. And when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. You know what? Pinili mo ni Moses ng mga tao. Subukun na to. Sinisinangan siya. Sabi ni Moses, dapat humiyaan mo na lang kami. Di ba sa mga lingan? Hiyaan mo na lang kami magsilbi doon. Itong mga Israelites, no? Ang plano nila sa buhay na tayong mga tao, ang plano natin, mag-settle yung mga kung nasang tayo ay tayo. Kasi kapag kalawabas tayo, comfort zone, comfort zone. Kapag nakabas tayo ng easy, kapag nakabas tayo, is laid tayo dito, okay lang, parang gano'n. Pero ang gusto ng Panginoon is mag-break sa mga yung mga barriers na yan. First, dun sa comfort zone mo, na hindi ka lang dyan, kapatid. Hindi yan yung limit ng buhay mo. Amen? Pwede ka pang unlad, pwede ka pang lumago. Hindi lang ganyan yung spiritual life mo. Pwede ka pang lumago, kaya natin gagawin yung life class life. O lahat tayo, life class tayo together. Okay? Sabi niya na, ano? Nakita ng mga Israelites kung gano'ng kapangang si Lord. And then they put their trust to the Lord. And to Moses, his servant, pati sa lida nila, they put their trust to the Lord. Kaya uh, pinilit siya ni Moses. Sabi ni Moses, stand firm, not be afraid. You only need to be still. Ba't kailangan natin maging still? Ano yung stillness? Hindi yung wala kang gagawin. Stillness is calmness. Calmness that's coming from the faith to the Lord. Kapag may problema, ano na nangyayari sa atin? Ibis na mag-still tayo, mag-react tayo. Nagagalit tayo, nagmumura tayo, hindi na masama, tayo inis, magdadagdun, humingin siya ng ulo. Ibis na huwing still and calm. And the Lord will help for us. Right? Ibis na magkaroon ng faith. Nagagalit. Dapat, no? Poy tayo na sa challenging times. Tandun yung faith natin. Kaka-faith lang, sabi ni Moses. Guys, sabi ni Moses. Guys! Kaka-faith lang. Right? Kaka-faith lang. Walang sukuan. Walang tinulan. Walang sa buong lupa. At kung sinang Panginoon na kanyang sinulan sa buhay mo at sa buhay mo. Amen and amen. Okay? God will make your way when there seems to be no way. Kaya na yan, ano? God will really make your way. Pag iniisip mo, parang wala nang way. Kung kaya mo yung stylist. Na-corner na sila. Mayroong dagat dyan, nandun sila. Kaya ba nilang tanginin kasama yung mga anak nila, family nila, pati yung mga alaga nilang hayop? Hindi eh. Right? Para talagang wala na talagang pag-asa. But God made a way by dividing the Red Sea. Amen? Kaya pala itong sunod dun sa verse 1 to 4. Inutong sa niya, itong mga isa ito, na mag-camp malapit sa Red Sea. Kasi, Feeling ng mga sir, ito, parang feeling din na ako. Pinaparusahan ba ako ni Lord? Parang gano'n eh. Ba't niya ako dito pinag-camp? Eh, mayroong dito yung rinse. Mayroong dito yung daan-daan. Natural, hindi ako makakaipot ka agad. Patakbo niyo mga kaaw. Ba't you know what? No? Your battle is the God's battle. Bro. Your fight is the God's fight. Baka sinisip mo, labag mo lang yun. Eh, limitado lang maloloka kang maliging talaga. Pababaliw ka naman talaga dyan. Pag inisip mo, ikaw lang natin sa ako. O kung kaya mo yan. Kung gano'n yung pag-inisip mo, eh di, ikaw na. Amen? <laughs> Hindi, dapat talaga. Trust the Lord. Pag inang kita mo, imposible, trust the Lord. God is the God of impossibilities. Amen? Huwag mong sumuha ng pagsubok. Hayaan mo ang pagsubok ang sumuha sa'yo dahil matindi ang faith mo sa Lord. Amen ba dyan? No? Amen ba dyan? Right? Kaya ang um, mga you will not break out the problem will break out you will break through. Amen? Okay? Don't give up. Kapit lang. Kapit lang. Yan yung sinigaw ni mga kasi guys! No? Walang tatakbo. Walang susuko. Kapit lang. Kapit lang. Okay? 
Kung meron akong din dadaanan na yun, meron na ito siya ng pangalaman. Kapit lamang. Mag-faith. Mag-faith yung trust mo. Amen? If it is impossible for you, the Lord will help you. Paano malalaman kung isang challenge mo? Eh, hindi mo na talaga kailangan labanin pa. Hindi mo na kailangan isulti sa rin mo. Kapag dumating sa pinang hindi mo na kaya, hindi mo na alam yung solution. That's the time the Lord will come. Kasi kung hanggang kaya mo pa, kaya mo pa yan. Pag hindi mo na kaya, nang hindi mo na kaya, hindi na iaas mo mag sa iyan. The Lord himself will help you. Amen? So let's learn the four things from this passage. No? Stand firm. Number one, stand firm. Do not be afraid in verse 13. Okay, in verse 13, no? sabi ni Moses, stand firm, do not be afraid. Okay? You will see the deliverance that God will give you today. Okay? In verse in, in, in number two, be still, the Lord will find. Okay? You only need to be still, and the Lord will fight for you. That's in verse 14. Amen? Number three, don't cry, just move on. Okay? Or maybe, no, not okay, yeah, ha, kasi challenge ka talaga ng bilang na. Don't just cry. Move on then. Don't move on, move on then, kapatid. No, kasi yung nakaraan, yung nakaraang buhay natin, hindi natin mababalik yun. Okay? Pwede tayong maghinayang. Sana ganito nyo ako, sana ganito. Pero hindi natin mababalik. Eh. Pwede natin gawin ngayon kung ano yung nasa harapan natin, kung ano yung pwede natin gawin natin. Ngayong araw to, may moment ako gawin natin ang makusay. Gawin natin ang tama. Hindi natin iliti kung kakamalik mo. Amen? Just move on. Just push. Right? Push lang. Right? Back lang. Number four, raise your staff to stretch out your hands. For me, that's worshiping God. You know what? In this, ano, in this life, maraming challenges tayo ng um, paharap yun. No? Paharap ng paharap, palaki ng palaki. Okay? So, para maging ano tayo, uh, mag-sustain ang faith natin to, let's worship God. Mag-worship tayo sa Panginoon, hindi natin niya kalimutan, magpasalamat sa Kanya. Okay? Talagang, let's stretch out our hands to God in worship, in surrender. Dahil darating talaga sa kung sa buhay natin, wala na tayong kayang gawin. Si Lord na lang ang pwedeng tumulong sa atin. Okay? Pag dumating yung faith na, si Lord na lang pwedeng tumulong sa'yo, diyan nataas na lalo yung faith. Kasi hanggang kaya ko pa, hanggang hindi mo sa surrender yan, may hirap pa ako mapapit ka. Amen? So surrender our life to God. Sino dito, no? hanggang ngayon, hindi mo surrender yung buhay ko. So surrender na natin. Okay? Come on, let's surrender our life to God. Let's pray. Manalangin tayo. Let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, that you have change our mindset. Lord, hindi kami mag-give up. Pag ipusigil ni Panginoon, we will trust you. We believe in God. We will be with us in our journey. Sa lahat na nag-aaral ni Panginoon, huwag niyong kayaan at sila isunodin na lang sa mga nag-aaral ng mga taas ng grade, matapos ang kanilang thesis, ang kanilang OJT, ang kanilang pag-uubahin ng profession, Lord God, sa mga mga promissory note, Lord, provide for them to the people who will see how great you are in our lives. Sa mga katatabaho, Panginoon, bless them with promotion. We pray, Lord God, ang hindi nasuwa ng kanilang kabaho. We will, Lord God, intelligence to this man, like people who are to be able, Lord God, to help them in their words. Sa mga nag-religos, Lord God, yung mga at on the point of giving up, Lord God, give them strength and wisdom. Give them, Lord God, the wisdom to unlock them in the midst of their business. Give them, Panginoon, yung mga right people, right mentors, Lord God, be with your help. That they will be helped, Panginoon. And Lord, Lord, thank you, Panginoon, that you are always with us, that you are sending your, your angels every day, Panginoon. 
hindi mo kami hinahayaan. We may not see it. We may not see it. A weird Panginoon na lalo mo kami tinutulong ng mga friend na hindi tayo. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagtulong mo sa amin. Wherever we are, wherever we will be, that you are with us. So Lord, ang darama mga tao nito na nakikinigilip pa sa mga parangay na nangyayawal sa iyo. Lord, we are surrendering. Surrendering mo lang ang lahat ng hindi. Raise your hand, kung nasaan ka man ngayon, sila nang mabuhay ka, Lord. Lord, look at His hands. We surrender our lives to You. Hold us, Lord God, and deliver us from our challenges and problems. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Amen. And Amen. Okay, before we end, just an announcement. This is our giving channels in this ministry. We have several banks and GCash accounts. Thank you for continuously giving in this ministry. Maraming maraming salamat. We will bless you abundantly. More than what you can ask and imagine a hundred thousand points sa ating social media platforms and network. Thank you for being salamat sa pagkapanitin mo sa ating YouTube, sa Facebook Live, sa ating Facebook channel. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you guys. And for those people that have been in the encounter, I think that is going to be next week or next next week na, no? In our next class. Start next week. When I do this Saturday. Okay? So, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for joining, no? Seeing in our Bible Bible study starting with this. Alright? God bless you and see you next week. Catholic Love.